Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the point uh, 19. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna continue what we did in the last video. So the last video, this is how we quit. It's we quit with the fact that we can favorite or unfavorite a tweet. So when you click here and that change like on, uh, in real time in the front end with optimistic UI. But now, now what I want, it's when another user like uh, this tweet, you see the number uh, go up by one or go down by one if he unfavorite in real time. So this is what we're gonna do today. It's gonna be pretty easy and it's gonna be almost like what we did in the other video. So the, one of the first thing we're gonna jump, it's we need to do this in the server first. So uh, one of the first thing we're gonna do, is we're gonna go to the schema and we're gonna add here in the subscription, tweet favorite Ted. And we're gonna return a tweet. So this is the subscription we're gonna create. Copy and paste this name. And uh, what we're gonna do after that, it's we're gonna jump on the tweet resolver. And at the top here, we're gonna create a variable where we're gonna call that tweet favorited equal and uh, the thing we just create. After that, so remember this is just like a constant that always needs to be the same, so that's why we create that go at the bottom. We're gonna put a, a comma here. We're gonna paste tweet favorite again. And we're gonna do the subscribe. So subscribe. It's gonna be a function. We're gonna work with the pop sub that is sync iterator, and we're gonna have the tweet favorite variable. And that's it. Now, before we forget that, we're gonna jump on the resolver here, and now we're gonna add this here. So tweet favorite equal tweet resolver that tweet favorite. So I hope this. I mean, that sounds good. So now what we can do. It's we're gonna jump. Now, uh, here, we see for the create tweet, what we did, so for one sec, create tweet. Here, this is what we need to call. We need to crawl, uh, call the pub sub publish with the variable tweet add. And here we put that inside create, uh, square bracket because this is the variable name, so tweet uh, add. And we pass the tweet. So we need to do the same, but for the favorite. But the thing about the favorite is we done that in the model, so we can, still use it in the model. You're gonna see what we're gonna do now. Go at the top, we're gonna export this variable because I don't want to type it again. Go inside your model favorite here, and now what we're gonna do, it's we're gonna import here from curly bracket, dot dot, GraphQL resolver and tweet resolver. We're gonna import the tweet favorite uh, constant, and also we need the pub sub library who came from the config slash pub sub. So we want the same instance of the pop sub we have created. After that, what we're gonna do, it's here, uh, after the t, uh, tweet g, to JSON, so when we create that as a tJSON, we're gonna say pop sub dot publish. We're gonna put the variable tweet favorite. We're gonna put in square bracket, and uh, curly bracket, sorry, the variable in, um, the variable here for the key. So for the one who maybe ask, yeah, but it's an array. No, no, in ES6, you can add a key who have a who it's a variable and it's an object. I think yes, or maybe F5, and this is all you can do. So now, by doing this, we can just put here a curly bracket, uh, not a curly bracket, but a colon. I have an object, and now here, what I can do, it's dot, 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 T. So the T I have right there. So now if I run prettier, this is what that happened. And I'll just copy paste this line. And now what you do, it's you just do the thing right there. Nothing more to do here. So what we can do just to make sure that happen if that really work, it's here. Like that. So now we done the server side, so we're gonna check if you get uh, scratch and no, perfect. So now we need to go in the mobile. So open the mobile side. And now the f uh, one of the first thing we need to do is create another subscription here. So we're gonna say tweet favorite that JS. So here we're gonna do almost like we did here. So for the subscription, so we we just say well like which variable, not not variable, but like which key we need from the object we're gonna came to make the the thing real time. So I'm gonna import GQL from the React Apollo library, and I'm gonna export default a, a GraphQL uh, tag here, and that's gonna be a subscription subscription. 
who here is going to take the tweet favorite variable. And here, the only thing I need is the ID for know which, which, uh, which uh, <coughs> tweet and also the favorite con. So, because this is what we update. Because this thing is going to happen only for someone else. Like, uh, example, if you like a tweet I have in my screen, I'm going to see that change. And this is just the, the number. I don't really care about nothing else. And we're going to do the subscription here like we did for the uh, tweet ad. So we're going to import right there the tweet favorited subscription from subscription and tweet favorited. And now we're going to almost do the same as the one we have here. So we're going to see, so right there in the Wilma, we're going to see this, that crops, that data, that subscribe to more. Well, we're going to put the document equal the tweet favorite subscription. And now here we can update the query like we did in the last one. So that's going to be almost the same. We're going to have the previous value and the uh, subscription data. Like that. And now we can do like we did on the other one. So sub. I don't know what my autocomplete don't work. That data. If we have no subscription of data, we're gonna return the previous value. After that, we're gonna say cons new tweet equal subscription data that uh, now that's gonna be data that tweet favorite. If you don't know where this data came, it's uh, that's gonna be the same as here. So the square bracket is gonna be equal to this variable here. And now what we say it's return uh, <coughs> return uh, uh, dot 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 previews and here we're gonna have the get tweet so the so finally we need to call the 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 uh, the, the, the query we did so because what we did here is the get tweets that's what we need to call this one because we're gonna update the cache of this uh, query. And now here, what we're gonna do, it's here that's gonna be uh, an array, and now that's what we can say, previews that get tweets that map. We're gonna map over each tweet, and finally what we're gonna do, it's some kind of logic here, we're gonna say, if the tweet, that underscore ID, equal equal to the new tweet, the two equal, but two, new tweet, that underscore ID, if it's equal, equal to that, what I want is adding all this tweet, but the favorite count now is going to be equal to the new tweet value. So I want, what I say is, hey, keep my object what, like what it was before, but just update the value of my favorite uh, count. And also here, by doing the map, what we say is we go over each of the data we, we have, and when we find the one where the ID, we update it and else. So here, the L, we're going to just return e each other tweet. That's it. So now you see that was pretty, pretty simple. So now we're going to check if uh, this thing is going to break in the mobile. If not, that's going to be a really good sign. So one sec. Here, this kind of logic is really important. You really understand this part in JavaScript. It's a ternary operator, it's just like we map over each one and when we find the one we want to, to check, we just return the same object but we merge it with a, a new value. So now what we're going to do for testing that is I'm going to create a new user. So I'm going to do a mutation. Let me make it a bit bigger. I'm going to do an, a mutation called sign up. Well, I'm going to have the email of uh, John Snow gmail.com I'm gonna have a full name of John Snow I'm gonna have a username of John Snow and I'm gonna have uh, email from password of John uh, password123 and now I want to get my token back so now I get the token I'm gonna take this token I'm gonna go to my headers. I'm gonna create a uh, new headers. I'm gonna say authorization. 
and I'm gonna say a bearer, don't forget bearer here, and I'm gonna paste the token I just have. And now, if everything is working, don't, don't, uh, we don't have a loading, that means it's, it's good. So now we're gonna first thing get every tweet while we're on the ID in the favorite con. So here we know, so this is gonna be the first one right there. So just look here what I'm gonna do. So now I'm gonna create another mutation. So I have a retweet and I just need to pass the ID. So I'm gonna pass this one and I'm gonna say uh, favorite con and is favorite. And now look, I'm gonna click play so I can do this by doing comment enter. And now look here the value. If everything's working, you see? Now you update in real time in the front end. And now if I like this one and I redo another uh, get tweet, where I get all the ID in the favorite con and I change this one too. Oops, I close it, sorry. And now if I say uh, mutation, favorite tweet, and I pass the ID, you're gonna see the e favorite con updating to here. So you see, so that's pretty awesome and that was pretty easy. So uh, that's gonna be, uh, that's it for this one. So what are we gonna do in the next one? It's we're gonna do the profile page of the user. So you're gonna have all your tweets uh, for the, the, the same user with uh, the page. So I hope you enjoy and we're gonna talk later. Have a good day, bye.